Michael Adabalajo is a man, it seems, MI5 some years ago wanted to get to, and so it's claimed they pursued his family as well. In an interview filmed today, although he didn't want to show his face, his brother-in-law, James Thompson, told ITV News about the family's reaction to the attack. Yeah, obviously it's a shock for everyone, uh, especially within the family circle. We didn't really expect or anticipate it purely because I'd spoken to him quite recently and he wanted to do some charity work. Mr Thompson said MI5 had approached him, Michael and Michael's other brother. Me and my other brother-in-law were obviously pestered and then there's obviously Michael who was pestered more so than the rest of us. And the kind of interesting thing is that uh, they would ask us about him rather than ourselves. So we could see they had a keen interest in him even though we couldn't put the pieces together because he was just a family man. He had kids and, you know, he worked and didn't do anything that we considered extreme. And ITV News has been shown case notes where Michael Adabalajo complained last year to a Muslim human rights group about harassment from the security service after his arrest in Kenya. Moazim Beg, a former Guantanamo detainee, says his organisation was told about approaches to a number of other members of the suspect's family. Clearly to me, it's systematic. It's something that was happening regular. Uh, they were clearly seeking to um, approach Mr Adabalajo uh, directly. And when that failed indirectly by immediate close members of the family and I think that happened at least on five occasions if not more. The notes suggest MI6 approached one relation and last year MI5 was worried enough to put pressure on another close family member. It said a few days ago MI5 called and requested an informal meeting. They asked him to convince Michael to cooperate with them. The meeting left him in a state of great distress. The acute distress now that of Lee Rigby's family. Footage of him on parade shows a soldier marching proudly. The Adabalajo family tried to do the little they can and offered their heartfelt condolences to the soldier's family. Nothing we can say can undo the events of last week, they said in a statement. However, as a family, we wish to share with others our horror at the senseless killing of Lee Rigby and express our profound shame and distress that this has brought on our family. The suspect's family said they would pray for Lee Rigby's soul to rest in peace and for the Lord to comfort his parents. Lucy Manning, ITV News.